The White House hosted a brunch for black excellence on Friday, where President Joe Biden paid tribute to the blood, sweat and tears of black Americans. Biden also pushed back at the false claims by former President Donald Trump that Haitian immigrants in Ohio are abducting and eating pets. It's another instance of the anti-immigrant rhetoric Trump has used in his campaigns. Officials say there's no evidence that Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are abducting and eating pets. Paying tribute to White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre, who is Haitian-American, Biden called for the false claims to stop. He said there was a proud Haitian-American community that's under attack in our country right now, and it is simply wrong. After highlighting the number of black jobs created during his administration, Biden told the cheering crowd, the next black job to be filled is as President of United States of America. Marseille, thank you for that introduction. I made a commitment. My administration would look like America. And it does. I want to stay, take a moment to say something like so many Americans, like Kareem, as he pointed out, a proud Haitian American community that's under attack in our country right now. Simply wrong. There's no place in America. This has to stop what he's doing. It has to stop. Now, thank you all for being here in this historic day. Today, recognize that this nation would not exist, and this is literal, without the blood, sweat, and tears about the determination, dreams, and contributions of black Americans. That's a fact. This place wouldn't exist. It's a fitting event during this fantastic Congressional Black Caucus Week. All the members of the Black Caucus that are here today, stand up. I want to see you all. Come on. They're the best. The bottom line is, the black community has always had my back, and I've always had yours. So thank you for all you've taught me. Thank you for all the love you've extended to me. So thank you for all you've taught me. We've centered racial equity as the center of everything we do. With your help, in just three and a half years, we've created over 2 million new black jobs for black, black Americans and black By the way, the next black job to be filled is as president of the United States of America. All right, watch me. We have the lowest black unemployment rate on record. Today, we honor this simple truth. Black history is American history. Black excellence is American excellence. And folks, we don't erase history like others are trying to. We make history. I know it because I've seen it. I've been vice president of the first black president in American history, a president to the first black vice president, and God willing, to the first female black president in American history. Kamala wanted to be here today, but she's traveling. She couldn't be here. But she's always there with us. We'll always be there for her. On this day, we celebrate black excellence. Let us remember, history is in our hands. It's literally in our hands. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I'm hosting the second consequential event today at the White House. The, the, great, the Prime Minister of Great Britain asked if he'd come and see me. He's on his way here, and I'm going to be seeing him shortly. So I'm not going to be able to stick around with you a long time. But I want to say, God bless you all. We're changing America for all Americans not just black Americans, for all Americans, for Hispanic Americans, for all Americans. Folks, this is who we are. Let's remember. I get so tired of the other guy talking about we're a failing nation. We are the greatest nation in the history of the world. That's a fact. And you're making it greater, and there's nothing going to stop us. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.